All right, here we go. Captured end game sun scenes have been edited to avoid spoilers. Hey everyone, we've been quiet for some time since, like the rest of the world, we had some unforeseen hurdles to clear. But the wait is over. Let's dive into the open world of Dying Light 2. I like how colorful the game looks already. That's one thing a lot of developers can take, gonna take a note from. Slice of dying light Color. Showcase the mission from the main storyline. You get out, old fuck. You saw how your decisions influenced the narrative and notably changed the environment. This time, we want to give you a broader look at the game and a sneak peek at some of the things we'll be talking about in upcoming months. The story. In Dying Light 2, you become Aiden Caldwell, an outsider trying to unravel a tangled mystery from his past. Its trail leads him to the city. Probably the last look at that, man. kind in the world. Oh, shit. At first, you feel like this intense, brutal place will tear you apart. But then you meet the Night Runners, veteran survivors who helped people in better days. By the way, I'm Hakon. You were a Night Runner. You used to help people, remember? Night Runners are gone. Finished. A myth. And although it's not entirely clear you can trust them, you need allies in the dark. <laughs> those guys, I, I hate those guys in the uh, Dying Light and one. These are the modern dark ages. It's been 15 fast years runners since the apocalypse and the world has changed. The old civilization has fallen, but a new one has been built on its ashes. People fight desperately for scarce resources. The rules are broken, and weakness is punished. She's innocent! Three factions struggle for position in the city. Survivors pride themselves on being able to adapt to any circumstances and cobble together safe zones almost everywhere. Peacekeepers, loyal soldiers, who want to impose their version of law and order and trample all in their path. Renegades, ex-prisoners serving their ruthless colonel, seeking to become sole rulers of the city. Where is Waltz? Make him tell me. Use these factions to reach your goal. Help or harm them to reshape the city to your liking. <laughs> That's funny. They put a hold on. I'm sorry. We gotta go back. That was actually kind of funny. To reach your goal, help or I'm sure the guy on Twitter loves this. So, right here, DL when, which means dying light to when people on Twitter were just on this guy on Twitter always the whole time, just saying dying light to win, dying light to win. That that's funny. That's that's a good little slip in they got right there. That's cool. Shape the city to your liking. I like that. I have a sense of humor too. I like that. Each faction contains complex characters. Nosy Parker, ain't you? Got some kind of bad habit of yours? So, will you follow cold calculation or your heart? The bazaar needs good people. Help us and you'll find a home here. Some in the city offer no chance for an alliance. Bandits, outlaws, and common thugs live only to plunder and kill, plunging the streets into chaos. Yet, nightfall scares all of them equally. Famous quote, good night and good luck. As the light fails, monsters crawl out of hiding to prey on the poor souls caught outside the safety of UV rays. Hordes of infected pour into the streets like decaying lava. The deadly spawn of 15 years of mutation. Holy shit, dude. Your only escape? 
Wow. Exploit the city's verticality and flee to the roofs. Though even there, you are never safe from swift and deadly virals. Virals, screamers. Yeah. I forgot the name of the actual like big guys in the night night people. Those guys there. Mm -mm. Yet night brings opportunities. The runners. Nests rife with infected during the day now lie empty. That's such a good idea, though. Carefully. But those brave enough to face the terrors of the night can loot a jackpot. Wow. A cure, maybe? Master the art of survival. All the tools you need to survive. Wall running, dude. Your extraordinary parkour nice. I like wall running. Even the most Shout out Black Ops Three. <laughs> On the roofs, you can parkour through that. I love the double drop kick from Dying Light 1. Enemies head on, and then you have to be smart, resourceful, and determined. We've worked hard on the essence of our combat, making sure swinging a big, meaty weapon is fun, satisfying, and well executed. But even the most brutal fights can be tactical as well. I feel like the combat's gonna be awesome. A grappling hook? I miss the grappling hook too. Mostly on mobility and parkour for aggressive, blunt force combat. The combat's gonna be amazing, I feel like. With the tools you've created, get the job done. Every ability you learn can be a game changer and possibly a new favorite move. Your choices, your world. Things move fast and quick in dying light too. Each moment matters. Each move could mean triumph or defeat. Choose your actions and friends carefully. Everything you do in the city can reshape the gameplay environment, change the course of the narrative, and decide the fate of the city's residents. Holy shit! But most importantly, oh my you god, decide your own fate as well. You're about to turn. Make sure to stay human stay human release date this year i kept thinking it would be like delayed to 2022 like, like early 2022 that's good to hear though pre-order now uh i'm probably gonna pre-order the collector edition believe it or not i have never ever ordered any game on a collector's edition. I've never done collector's edition. I've never done anything like that. So I think this might be the first game where I might actually buy a collector's edition. Who knows? I mean, I, I really, really enjoy Dying Light 1 a lot. And so, I mean, I might as well get the collector edition and do that. It also came out today and said that there is a platinum edition for the standard Dying Light 1 game, which it has all the DLCs, just every single thing from the beginning of Dying Light to the end of it, it's all in one uh, game. I want to say it was like 25 US dollars, I want to say. Uh, I'll have to double check that, but it was very, very good price for what they gave you. I'll link the, the whole entire stream that they had from Twitch in the description below. Uh, I want to say that they, I was watching them and one of the developers said that they had over 3,000, 3,000 parkour moves in the game. And when I heard that, I just kind of like paused it like, wow, what the hell? Three, like, how can you even put 3,000 different moves into one game? That's, that's just, that's pretty incredible. Uh, with that being said, that has been Dying Light, the official gameplay trailer. Uh, the game comes out December 7th of this year, 2021. Pre-order today on any uh, console or PC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.